Hey there, VCHHD students. My name's Andy. I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video, we're going to look at how to structure an answer to a question about health status and burden of disease in Unit 3 VCHHD. Before we dive into this video, just a reminder at the Health Resources Hub, there's a range of different ways you can engage with us. If you're over at our YouTube channel, you can check out the over 100 content videos, SAT and exam tips that are available. And there'll be new videos coming out each week during the school term this year. So make sure you subscribe with the button on the bottom front of the video there if you're on YouTube. Or you can just search for Health Resources Hub on YouTube to check us out and subscribe. You'll get then alerts to all of the new videos that are coming out throughout the year. You can also head to our website, the hrh.net.au, where there's opportunities for teachers and students. And if you're a Unit 3 and 4 student and you scroll to the bottom of the page, you'll see there's a registration form for our free student newsletter. The first edition has already gone out with lots of resources that are available to students for free. So if you head over there and sign up, you won't miss out on our second edition coming out in a couple of weeks. You can also see our social media links there if you'd like to follow us and get alerts to our new videos and other opportunities and also our email if you'd like to get in touch. Okay, so we're looking here at structuring an answer to a question about health status and burden of disease. And I thought the best way of uh, talking about this was to look at a question from the 2023 exam. So you can see this one here is asking you to outline the role of adequate fiber intake in improving two indicators of health status. And you had to refer to a different health condition in each part of your answer and it was worth four marks. So if we think about the question, there's a few things to break down. So number one, they're focusing on the role of adequate fibre intake. So consuming enough fibre, not a lack of fibre. So make sure you don't phrase your answer in the wrong direction, given what the question has indicated there. But also it's mentioning their indicators of health status. So I'd make sure you're highlighting that, okay, when answering a question, because where you see health status in a question, okay, is really signposting you to refer to things such as life expectancy, mortality, Okay, hail, incidence, prevalence, those kinds of things within your answer. But you can also refer to burden of disease, okay, because that is also an example of a health status indicator. And so this question here is specifically asking you to refer to a different health condition in each part of your answer. So you have to include two health conditions. So for the first, okay, response there, you might give an example of the role that fibre can play in the body, such as fibre can add bulk to faeces and help okay, food to pass through the digestive system, and therefore that might reduce your risk of developing something such as colorectal cancer. So give an example of the role of adequate fiber intake, and then in the second part of your answer, you need to link it into a health status indicator. So then you might say if individuals are less likely, okay, to develop colorectal cancer, they might be less likely to die prematurely, and that can improve life expectancy. So give some link then from your condition, okay, to the health status indicator then obviously you need to do that a second time. So in the second example there, if you were to link into burden of disease, what you have to think about when mentioning burden of disease in an answer is that you should be referencing either YLL, okay, or YLD within your answer. Now I have already talked about in a separate video, okay, burden of disease in quite a bit of detail, breaking down YLL and YLD, so you can go back and take a look at that. But for example, in the second part of your answer here, if you were say referencing the fact that adequate fiber intake might contribute to the feeling of fullness or satiety in an individual, and that might prevent them from overeating energy dense foods, then you could link that into a reduced risk of weight gain and perhaps developing obesity. And if an individual spends less years of their life living with conditions such as obesity, there's less years lived with disability, disease or illness, and that reduces YLDs, okay? So you can link into burden of disease, but make sure you're linking into specifically YLL or YLD. Now, if a question was just focusing on burden of disease, okay, for four marks, instead of saying broadly health status, I would make sure that in one part of your answer, you're referencing YLL, and in the second part, you're referencing YLD, just to make sure that you're obtaining those four marks by showing enough depth of knowledge. So these are just another couple of sample answers, okay, which are relatively similar to what I was just talking about there, that can help you to get your head around how you might answer a question like this and make sure you tick off all of the parts of the question with the different conditions, different health status indicators, and also the different roles of adequate fiber. Okay, hopefully you found that video useful. Just a reminder, there's a range of different ways you engage with the Health Resources Hub. And if you're a Unit 3 and 4 student, please head to our website and sign up to our free newsletter. Thanks so much.